Okay, so I'm going to take a second to work out the 2009 uh, number four release exam question. If I look at the actual question, it is um, telling me that I have a graph down here showing GM crops. Remember, that means genetically modified. Um, and then if I look at the actual data, I have developing countries and industrialized countries. And so I'm going to be analyzing these numbers to be able to answer these questions down here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so on one right here, or I, it says to calculate the increase. When I see the word increase, then I automatically think, okay, I'm going to have to subtract, right? If you have um, an allowance of $10 a week and it goes to $15 a week, how much should it increase? In your head, you just said five. You know what you did? You subtracted. Increase means subtract. All right, so calculate the increase in the land area used for growing genetically modified crops in developing countries. So that means I'm going to be using this bottom graph, this solid line graph, um, from 1999 to 2003. And it wants me to express my answer as a percentage of the 1999 value. So I know at the end of this little party, I'm going to take my number and I'm going to put it over the 1999 value. So, um, excuse me, I'm going to divide and then multiply by 100 because percent is part divided by whole times 100. All right, anyway, so if I look at the data from 1999, I see that it used to be 10 million. Let me scoop that over so you can see. It used to be 10 million hectares, and now in 2003, it's showing 20 million hectares. Well, if it wants me to calculate the increase, it is as easy as it sounds. I'm just going to take and show 20 million. Remember, million is 10 to the 6. Just go ahead and get used to that concept. 20 million hectares, and that's up from 10 million hectares. So obviously that's just an increase of 10 million hectares. Now, it wanted me to express this value as a percentage of the 1999 value. The 1999 value was 10 million hectares. Well, boys and girls, if I told you we had a quiz and it was worth 10 points and the total points were 10 points, you'd have 100, right? Yeah. So let's show that though. So my change is 10 million. And then the uh, 1999 value was 10 million. And so anything divided by itself is 1. And uh, percent is part divided by whole times 100. So I get 100%. Um, so increase. No big deal there, right? Um, so part II. That always reminds me of, cap, of, of pirate. Aye, aye, Captain. Anyway, um, it wants me to calculate the annual rate of increase in land area used for growing genetically modified crops in industrialized countries um, from 1997 to 1999. So what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to first have to see how the data changed. So in 1997, I had 10 million hectares being used for genetica, genetically modified crops. And in 1999, I had... 30 million hectares being used for genetically modified crops. So, um, to calculate my annual rate of increase, I'm only going to first need to subtract, and then how many years is that? One, two. So, this final value is 30 million hectares. So, 30 million hectares minus 10 million hectares is just going to give me 20 million hectares. How many years went past from 1997 to 1999? One, two. Okay, so I'm going to divide that number by two. Two years. And so that's going to give me 10 million hectares per year. That's my annual rate of increase. All right. Um, on the next part, it says, using the rate you calculated in part II, project the land area that would have been expected to be used for genetically modified crops in industrialized countries in 2004. Well, if I look at 1999, I ended at 30 million hectares. Now look, this nice little slope here shows me that every year I'm going up 10 million, then 10 million. And if I move this down so you can see, 10 more million, and 10 more million, and 10 more million, and 10 more million, and 10 more million. So just graphically, I should get 80 million as my answer. 
you should be able to look at a graph and think, okay, um, let me continue this trend and see where it goes. We're going to show our work mathematically, but graphically, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get 80 million. All right, so let, let's show that. Um, if I look at the years again that it's asking me to examine, it wants to know to 2004. So how many years is that? One, two, three, four, five, or if I want to show my work, 2004 minus 1999 gives me five years. Okay, so I have five years. Remember, I'm increasing by 10 million hectares per year, so 10 million hectares times 5. This gives me 50 million hectares. How many hectares should I start with in 1999? 30. So, plus 30 million hectares. I'm going to get 80 million hectares. And that's exactly what I just saw graphically. So, there's how to do free response question number four from 2009. I will change the numbers on here to make it um, so that you'll have to be able to work the problem no matter what um, the data shows. So just be prepared to um, know how to work it and maybe not get 100% or something so easy as the answer. All right. Thank you.